In the next version of iOS coming very soon, Apple Podcasts is going to support native transcriptions as you listen to shows. This is a huge leap for accessibility in podcasts, and it's going to allow a whole new audience to experience your podcast by reading the content. That's why having an accurate transcription is going to be a key element. I'm going to show you how transcriptions are going to work in Apple Podcasts once iOS 17.4 comes out to the public, how you can manage it in your Podcast Connect account, and the best way to get an accurate transcript and edit it so those who read your content make sure they're getting exactly what you intended. Right now I'm running a beta version of iOS 17.4, so this is not out to the public yet, but will be very soon. Once you start playing an episode and open that Now Playing screen, there's going to be a new icon in the bottom left corner. It looks like the lyrics icon from Apple Music. When you tap that, it will actually show the transcription and Apple Podcasts is going to follow along as the audio is going. So someone can read along as they listen to your show. They can also scroll through the entire transcription and even chapter markers are going to show up large like headers right here. You can also search the transcription using the search button here at the bottom. You could search for a specific word or phrase like Microsoft here and then use the arrows to go up and down through the transcript and find all the instances of that word. That's why having an accurate transcription is going to be key. You can also tap and hold on the transcript and copy or select that text and paste it elsewhere. You can also scroll to a certain part in the transcript, tap the words, and it will start playing the audio at that portion of the transcript. If someone is unable to listen to it or they just want to see the entire transcription at once, they can go to an episode page, click the three dots, and then tap View Transcript. This is going to show the entire transcript that can be read like a long article. You can still search the transcript in this mode using the magnifying glass and select text like you would in a normal document. You can even use the built-in iOS Translate features to get a translation of this text right inside Apple Podcasts. Now, Apple Podcasts is going to generate these transcriptions automatically for every podcast, but you as a creator will have the choice to use those auto-generated transcripts, which are not really editable in the Apple Podcast interface or use your own transcription from something like Riverside to make sure you get the most accurate text possible. If you log into your Apple Podcast Connect account where you manage your show in Apple Podcasts, go down to Availability under the Show tab, and then you'll see a new Transcripts option down at the bottom. Here it explains that Apple will automatically generate those episode transcripts for the show, or if you upload a transcript via your RSS feed, Apple will default to that. Then you can choose to only display the auto-generated transcripts by Apple, or display the transcripts that you provide. When you record with Riverside, and we'll show you how to edit those transcripts, you want to make sure to check this button here. Then for each episode, you can go in and see which transcript it's using. Going into the episode details here, you'll see both for free RSS audio and subscriber audio, you can click in and see whether you're using the auto-generated transcript or the provided transcript you uploaded via your podcast host. Now, if you want to edit the transcript, you're not able to do that here in Apple Podcasts. Clicking the edit button only allows you to default to the auto transcribed or the custom setting for this episode. Apple Podcasts does give you the ability to download their auto generated transcript. You'll see here when you download it from Apple Podcasts, it's in a VTT format, which can be edited in a plain text editor, but then you have to make sure all the timestamps and everything are precise. The better and easier way to manage your transcriptions is to record it in Riverside, and any edits you make in the Riverside editor will be reflected in the transcript you can download. I've logged into my Riverside account, and I'll go to a past record recording here. Every time you record with Riverside, you get a full transcript generated by AI that's incredibly accurate, and it's available in over 100 languages. You can also use our AI features like Generate AI Show Notes, which will give you a description, takeaways, and timestamps for your content. You can also generate magic clips with one click, meaning it will create vertical videos from your content ready to share on social media. Now, if you want to edit your transcript and your content at the same time, I'm going to click Create New Edit to enter the Riverside Editor. The Riverside Editor gives you powerful tools for managing your content. Not only do you have color-coded labels here for each speaker in the recording, the waveforms here in the bottom timeline are also color-coded. Plus, Riverside uses AI to automatically generate chapter markers, and you can even edit those just by clicking and dragging, renaming them, and you can copy that chapter list to use in something like a YouTube description. Now, let's say we want to edit our content via the transcript to make sure it's perfect for Apple Podcasts. Well, editing in Riverside is just as easy as editing a Word document. If you want to cut out a section, both of the video and audio content and the transcription, I can just select it here and then click Delete. Now I've edited my content just by deleting the text. You also see that deleted portion reflected down here in the timeline. If I want, I can hide the deleted portions by toggling this, and you'll see it's now disappeared and collapsed, so I can focus on the content remaining. I can even remove specific words by highlighting it and click delete. Now let's say you need to correct the transcript, maybe the spelling of someone's name. Well, I can highlight that word here in the editor, 
click correct, and then just type the proper spelling. Now I've corrected my transcript, and if I add captions on top of this video, which I can do with one click here in the Riverside Editor, even choose a specific highlight color for the spoken word at the moment. Now I can preview my content, and you see it's highlighting the word being spoken, and I've corrected the transcript all at the same time. Also, he is capitalized, I can correct that, just type the lowercase and hit enter, and now I've corrected the transcript as well. Once I've gone through and edited all of my content, I can even use magic tools like removing silences. I can choose to remove just a little bit of silences, or if I want a really fast paced video clip, I can go to super fast and it'll tell me that 101 pauses are gonna be removed for a total of one minute and 24 seconds being cut out. I like to go somewhere in the middle when it comes to removing silences, and I'll click apply. I can also change the layout, add a custom background image or logo. Now, if I wanna copy this transcript that I've corrected, I can click the three dots here at the top and choose download transcript, or I can just copy transcript and paste it in a Word document. I'm gonna download the transcript, and now that it's downloaded, you'll see here I have a text file with my transcript, and if I open it, it has all the timestamps required, and you'll see all the corrections I made in the transcript, like the spelling of my name, is here in that downloaded text file. Now, once you've made all the changes to your transcript and downloaded the text file, you'll wanna to go to your podcast host and upload that transcript file so it can be used in Apple Podcasts. Here I'm using Transistor, but Buzzsprout and other podcast hosts also give you the ability to upload a transcript. Once I've created a new episode here in my podcast host, I can scroll down and you'll see there's an option to add a transcript. Here on the transcript page, I can choose to add a transcript, I can choose a text, VTT, or SRT file. I'll choose the text file that I just downloaded from Riverside, click open, and now I've added that transcript to this episode in my podcast host, and Apple Podcast will default to this transcript that I edited using Riverside to make sure everything is just how I want it. And those are the new transcriptions supported directly in Apple Podcasts coming in iOS 17.4. And when you record and edit your content in Riverside, you will have a pristine transcript ready for an entire new audience to experience your content. If you have any questions about transcripts in Apple Podcasts or recording and editing with Riverside, leave a comment below this video. I answer all of those personally. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Any podcast features and news or new Riverside features, which, trust me, there are many coming very soon, we cover them all right here on the channel. I'll even put a playlist right here that'll teach you how to learn to use Riverside from recording, editing, and publishing your content. And I'll put another video here if you're looking to build a video podcast setup I walk you through several different budgets on how you can get started or upgrade your setup if you'd like. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.